it's the same old story. This is the night both sets of supporters have been waiting for. Not long now until kickoff on match day one in the Champions League. Who will get off to a positive start with all three points? It's Borussia Dortmund and they take on Barcelona. It's coming up live next on EA TV. One of the great, most atmospheric venues anywhere in the football world. We're at the home of Borussia Dortmund. I'm Derek Ray here in the commentary position and joining me will be Lee Dixon. And we've got so much to look forward to. This is where it all begins in Europe's Premier Club competition, the UEFA Champions League, the group stage, match day one action. It is Borussia Dortmund versus Barcelona. Well, the first group stage of the Champions League is always exciting. Three points is vital for both teams to get off to a good... Marco Reis! I must admit, I thought he was going to score with that header. Yeah, it was a quality cross, and he gets up well, and it's just wide. So, glancing at the table, and I must say, when the teams came out of the various pots for the Champions League draw, this was the one that stood out straight away. What a riveting game this promises to be. Well, we're in for a real belter, I think. So much hype leading up to this game. Both teams expected to go deep into this competition. Can't wait for this one. Well, sometimes players are overhyped, but I don't think we can use that word in connection with Lionel Messi. Well, we say to each other in the back four, don't give him a yard because he will score. Don't give this lad half a yard. He's such a great finisher. And he has just veered into an offside position this time. Well, the pass just needs to be made a little bit quicker and he's onside, but it just gets caught out. news of a goal in the Inter game let's hear about that goal from Alan McAnally it's a goal for Inter it's been scored by Wadlo Asamoa a lovely bouncing header that found the net off the inside of the far post 12 minutes played 1-0 thanks as ever for the update Alan Sancho a decisive clearance it was Rakitic Dembele Suarez Belly on the ball. On the ball, Luis Suarez. Messi. Oh, that's an interesting pass. Well, that just has to nullify the opposition. And he dealt with that ball played in rather well. Rakitic on the ball. Will he play it in? Corner oh, no, for Barcelona. Firing it into the area. And that's an important intervention. Now Thomas Delaney. Hakimi. Delaney. This might be ideal for the counter. It might be on for them. Opportunity it is. The break that time was excellent. Not so much the finish. Oh, he was brilliant, wasn't it? The move, the counter-attack, and then all he needed to do was finish it off, and they couldn't. There's no doubt about it, the UEFA Champions League has come a long way since it came into existence back in 1992-93, and there are many, Lee, who say it's the highest standard of football you'll see anywhere. Well, I think it is the best club competition uh, in the world. I think the competition at the top, at the end, near the final, etc., is what it is, but the tournament is strong. It might be the moment to get them ahead. Well, they would have been in a decent position there, but offside. Oh, what a wasted opportunity that is. Delaney and Witzel with it Delaney Sancho now Sancho 
So hard to overcome Jordi Alba. Rakitic. Dembele on the ball. Messi. Longley. Sergio Busquets. Sergio Roberto. De Jong. Lionel Messi. And the ball's gone. That's a fairly easy save for any keeper to make. So tight this game. Who's going to break the deadlock? Be brave. A real opening now. Surely. Might still be able to do a bit of damage. Not far away. To catch it like that, you've got a really good technique and oh, so close. Not what he was intending, bad pass. De Jong, and he's got the beating of his opponent. Well, he knew he had to get to the ball and he did. Messi! And offside it is. Delaney Messi Lionel Messi Messi staunch rear guard action Messi he's unable to take the chance and he'll be disappointed here well nil nil it should be one nil it really should and three minutes will be added on for stoppages it's so Tremendous ball played through. Well, the bar can be the goalkeeper's best friend. Ivan Rakitic. And plenty of scope to be creative in that wide position. Dembele with the cross. That's going to be all for the first half here in the rural region. And so the second half of this Champions League group stage match day one contest commences. Now Jordi Alba giving the ball to the opposition that time. And Witzel with it. The ball with Marco Reus. took the flight nice and early well Derek they're not happy ref is taking the brunt of this well it's often a case of five star performances where Lionel Messi is concerned but not necessarily in this case Lee well no goals for him no real chances either he needs to help his team a little bit more just to get involved in the game I think he would be the difference if he was playing better has a go BK great block Witzel, Delaney, Witzel, here's Royce, Marco Royce, pretty routine there for the goalkeeper. Just a quick reminder, we've got Champions League group stage action for you to look forward to here on EA TV. It's Barcelona facing Inter. Well, the super atmosphere of cup football rarely lets you down. Exciting game that'll be, I'm sure, Derek. 
Dortmund possession stats very, very impressive indeed. If they keep this pressure on, you feel the goal will come. Keep. He's got to score! And the goal it is, the opener in this game. Well, keep it tight, that's what both managers would have been saying. But now the opening goal's gone in. Tactics have got to change. Well, let's see that again. Oh, he's so sweetly hit. Look at his technique. Absolutely brilliant. He's got the power, he's got the accuracy, and now he's got himself a goal. Back underway, Borussia Dortmund with the advantage. Dembele on the ball. And it was read so beautifully by Hummels. Delaney. Witzel. Barcelona. Well, if that goes in, Derek, this game would have a very different complexion about it. But as it stands, it still could go either way. They need to get bodies back. Look at it! He knows he can do a lot better on the shooting front. Well, how many times has he had that chance in training and scored on that occasion all over the place? And Witzel with it. Delaney. This might have potential. Delaney. for Tostegan to make Artur has it Sergio Busquets has lost it good use of advantage for Dortmund Delaney Witzel might be able to produce from this position and he cuts it back and they've only got the reply but finishing touch Take a look at this replay. The difference between a good player and some of the best players is they don't need to take a touch. Gets his shot away. First time. Nothing else matters but concentrating on that ball. It's going their way. 2-0. Dembele, Dembele, you've got to keep the ball a bit better than that. Brandt with it. Marco Reis. Well, it's a fine-looking Dortmund attack, but the question is, what can they do from this position? Well, he knew he had to get to the ball, and he did. Jan now and only two minutes remaining here Emre Jan that's a lovely ball Brandt Jan wonderful chance and the German goalkeeper with a top notch save how far has he stretched for that Marco Royce with the corner. Only well, failed to get it away properly. Tremendous block. Full time then, and the ideal start. 
start for Borussia Dortmund. They have three points from their first match in the Champions League. Yeah, really, really strong start. That's what you need. Might still be able to do a bit of damage. Not far away at all with the volley. Well, to catch it like that, you've got a really good technique. And oh, so close. Messi. He's unable to take the chance, and he'll be disappointed here. Well, nil-nil, he should be... He's got to score! And a goal it is, the opener in this game. Well, keep it tight, that's what both managers would have been saying. He can do a lot better on the shooting front. Well, how many times has he had that chance in training and scored on that occasion? Witzel might be able to produce from this position. Brandt, he cuts it back. And they've only gone and applied that finishing touch. Chan. with a top-notch save. How far has he stretched for that? Well, nights like these are just what you hope for as a spectator. A warm welcome. Derek Ray here on the commentary box, joined as always by former England defender Lee Dixon. And we've got Champions League group stage fair on the menu. It is Slavia Prague facing Borussia Dortmund. Thank you, Derek. Hello, everybody. Well, it was a great start to their Champions League campaign as far as Dortmund are concerned. Three points from their opening game, a really solid start. Same performance as last time surely means another three points. It's with Guerrero. It is going to be a Dortmund free kick. And Marco Reus, usually so very creative, can be difficult to stop. Lee, in what way might he contribute here? Well, he's strong, he's a good runner, but above all, he's intelligent. Just watch the positions he takes up on the pitch. And Witzel with it. Dan Axel Zagadou. Are they going to forge ahead? Well, that's really sound goalkeeping, not letting the opposition have any scraps. There's been a goal in the Barcelona match. Alan McAnally has details. It's a goal for Barcelona. Seven minutes played, 1-0. Many thanks, Alan. Great opportunity. Top quality goalkeeping from Roman Birki. And firing it into the area. And space for the cross. Well, they have the ball once more. Hummel's reading it well and winning it back. Emre Can.
The offside flag had to go up, and it did. Yeah, look along the line. Look along the line. Useful looking position, you've got to say. Emre Can now. Dan Axel Zagadou. Might really be able to trouble them here. Masterful piece of foiling. Giving the ball away. Good vision. Can he get onto this? Will he finish? Terrific block there. Given away. Witzel in possession to give them the lead, maybe. Well, as the attacking side, you might dispute it, but offside by a hair. Yeah, spot on from the linesman. Spot on, but he was close. On the ball, Shevchik. Very good reading of the game to win possession back. Zagadou. They're trying to get right into his face. Guerreiro. And green space aplenty for Dortmund to run into. And the referee has pointed to the spot. A penalty it is, and a chance for them to forge ahead. He's now got to be extra careful. A verbal warning rather than a caution here. Yeah, the next one, he knows where he's going in the book. The keeper going in the right direction and saving it. And it's gone out of play for the Dortmund throwing. And what on earth happened there? A bit sloppy in possession. Beautifully weighted ball. Good, sir. Delivering it into the box. A decisive clearance it was. Crisp tackling. Dortmund certainly enjoying the lion's share of possession, but I don't think the manager or the fans will be too happy with this performance. It's all been a little bit too slow, too pedestrian. They need to find another gear if they're going to go on and win this. Well, not to be in terms of the counter-attack. Not a good pass. Fruitful-looking attack. Intense pressure. Dortmund have been awarded the free kick by the referee. Zagadou. And Witzel with it. Now with Hakimi. Jaden Sancho. Sancho. Emre Can. That's a foul, and it will be a potentially dangerous free kick. And the free kick caught cleanly by the keeper. An important interception. Looking confident with the ball at his feet. Masterful piece of foiling. That is that for the first half.
Underway then in the second half of this Champions League group stage confrontation. Lukas Piszczek with it. Royce. Good, sir. Opportunity it is. Oh, that was a terrific stop in a one versus one situation. Well, high fives all round for the goalkeeper. Absolutely fantastic. Over it comes. Not fantastic defending. Let's see if it helps the opposition. Beautifully timed. Has a go. Tremendous block. Chan. Well thumped clear. Just a quick reminder, we've got Champions League group stage action for you to look forward to here on EA TV. It's Borussia Dortmund facing Inter. Yeah, break from league action for players. Always a good atmosphere when it's knockout football. Should be a great match, that. Here's Gutzer now. Well, it's a fine-looking Dortmund attack, but the question is, what can they do from this position? And space for the cross. Guerreiro. Sancho. It's neat passing. Confidence on the ball. And he takes it on. The first goal of the match. And the lead certainly doesn't flatter them. It's taken a while, but the pressure's taken its toll. Well, when you move the ball this well and this smoothly, then it's really difficult to stop. That's paved the way for a super goal. Well, let's go back to the goal that was scored. And Dortmund will go to the bench. Back underway. Borussia Dortmund with the advantage. And we're inside the final 30 minutes. And do they mean business on this occasion? Forced into the penalty area. And caught with ease. No real threat from the cross. Was going to take an audacious effort to beat the goalkeeper from there. Well, Derek, the stats tell you everything. Slim pickings out there, not created enough. I can't see them getting back in this game unless their forwards up their game a little bit. Good looking ball. There could be a chance now. The timing was perfect. It had to be. Well, the ref will hear the crowd all right. We can hear him from here. He's taking some stick. Running towards goal. Marco Reus. Can they put it away? Akimi. And here's Chan. An important interception. Could be a chance to break here. Onayinka. To cross into the center. Keeper did his job to begin with. Well, great read there to intercept. And given the defender's touch, the referee says corner. They decided that now is the time to go to the bench. And over comes the corner. Top quality goalkeeping from Roman Birki. Not the result from the set piece they were looking for. Hakimi. A chance maybe from the wide position. Well, that's one for them to pursue. Well, the clearance half-hearted. And a goal here for Borussia Dortmund. Can they be stopped?
Well, I think the keeper's expecting power. He's expecting the laces to come right through that ball, but he just passes it into the net. A lovely, lovely finish. Well, let's have another view of that goal. It's going their way, 2-0. got to try to make it a bit more difficult for your opponent than that Nico Schulz good sir good sir well that's a procession of goals and surely there's no way they can let this slip now absolutely dominant well, here we can see, Derek, from this better angle, it's all about the technique. When you're volleying a ball, it's all about timing. Let it get to the right place for your foot to make the connection. And there you go, in the back of the net. Substitution it is for Dortmund. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. And that was a very fine read. And five minutes to go. Witzel. It's with Shevchik. Given away. Real danger. And it might be. And the keeper taking care of the situation. Emre Jan giving the ball away. It's opening up for them. Well, that's very... After the foul, a chance to contemplate what is next and perhaps a goal from this free kick. He's got to be cross with himself straight into that human barrier. So the full time whistle and another three points in the bag to add to the total from match day one. You've got to conclude, Lee, that they're in a superb position to qualify for the knockout stages now. Well, absolutely. Boxes. situation well high fives all round for the goalkeeper absolutely it's neat passing confidence on the ball and he takes it on the first goal of the match and the lead certainly doesn't flatter them it's taken a while but the pressure is taking its toll One for them to pursue. Well, the clearance half-hearted. And a goal here for Borussia Dortmund. Can they be stopped? Good, sir. Good, sir. Well, that's a procession of goals. And surely there's no way they can let this slip now.
You would think this game has epic written all over it. Two heavyweights of Europe, and both have the potential to go far. It's Inter. They take on Borussia Dortmund, and the action is next on EA TV Live. Good evening, everyone. Tonight, we're talking to you from one of the special venues in European football, the San Siro, here in the city of Milan. I'm Derek Ray, joined in the commentary position by Lee Dixon, and we're ready for UEFA Champions League group stage action tonight. It's Inter against Borussia Dortmund. Yeah, it's important you're consistent throughout these group stages. You can't afford any slip-ups, no drop points. As before you know it, you're out the running. Anticipating a really good game today, Derek. Hopefully we're not disappointed. Tremendous intuition to win it back. And a look at the Inter team. Samir Handanovic begins in goal. Milan Skriniar plays with Diego Godin at the back. And so many different ways to configure an attack. In this case, it'll be two men up front. Here's the starting 11 for Borussia Dortmund. Roman Burki gets the nod in goal. Mats Hummel starts with Dan Axel Zagadou in the fullback positions. Emre Chan plays alongside Axel Witzel in central midfield. And that giving it a try. And he's fired it against the post. Hakimi. Given away. Well, it was a decent effort. I thought it was in, to be honest with you, but not to be. Maybe next time. Well, the pass not finding its target. Well, the normally brilliant Barcelona haven't been quite as brilliant in the group stage up to now anyway. There's a slide rule pass. And nothing positive comes of it, unfortunately. And it was turned out, so a throw-in will be next. Emre Can now. Axel Witzel. Guerrero. And Witzel with it. Guerrero, Hakimi, mastery of the passing game, Emre Can, and Witzel with it, Witzel, possession lost, it'll be a throw, they have to clear it, and this is Royce, Hakimi, Staunch rear guard action. Are they going to forge ahead? Taking care of business defensively here. Axel Witzel. Royce. Chan. Can't miss, surely. Very high degree of difficulty there. Samir Handanovic. Marco Royce with the corner. Emre Can. Piszczek. Emre Can now. Good save! Goalkeepers have to be mindful that long shots like that can come in. Yeah, I always look at goalers and say, do your job, keep the ball out the net. Good job we didn't let that one in. Martinez. Dortmund possession stats very very impressive indeed they really have put the pressure on you feel their play deserves a goal but will they get one they need to just be a little bit better a little bit more clinical what a shocking pass really Sancho 
textbook defending inside the box. Working brilliantly as a team to force the clearance. It will be a throw. Royce. Emre Can. Jaden Sancho. Emre Can. Witzel. Emre Can now. Just looking for the right moment for that final pass. And Witzel with it. In full control of the ball here. Lukaku, Kandreva, Vecino. And he was in the right place to intercept. Eriksson, Lukaku, Asamoa, straight down the throat of the opposition. Marco Reis, good sir. Dangerous looking through ball. Royce. Dortmund throw in here. Options in the centre. Witzel. Royce. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. Kandreva. This might be ideal for the counter. We've had the official word. There will be a minimum of two added minutes. Vecino on the ball. The ball with Martinez. Genuinely thought they might. The first half here comes to an end. Away then in the second half of this Champions League group stage confrontation. Emily Jan now. Jaden Sancho. Now with Akimi. Good sir. Fluency of movement. Emily Jan. Here's Gutzer now. Marco Reus. Marco Reus! He was certainly in. The chance was there. But credit has to go to the defender league. Well, part of a defender's job is to put players off doing their job. And that's exactly what they do there. It's a decent effort in the end, but under pressure. But it's fair to say the first-half performance wasn't the best we've ever seen from Mario Götze. He knows Lee. He's got to do a bit better. Well, no goals for him. No real chances either. He needs to help his team a little bit more just to get involved in the game. I think he would be the difference if he was playing better. Hakimi. Not what he was intending. Bad pass. Just a quick reminder, we've got Champions League group stage action for you to look forward to here on EA TV. It's Inter facing Borussia Dortmund. Yeah, break from league action for players. Always a good atmosphere when it's knockout football. Should be a great match, that. Good, sir. Sancho. And just as well from the defensive point of view that he was able to make that interception. Just a quick reminder, we've got Champions League group stage action for you to look forward to here on EA TV. It's Borussia Dortmund facing Inter. Yeah, cup football has its own special atmosphere for me. The stakes can be really costly. Can't wait for that one. Read it superbly to take back possession. The referee has played advantage in Dortmund's favour. Pumers. Emre Can now. Royce. Here's Gutzer now. And this is Royce. Gutzer! And unfortunate. With
of that chip lee just over the top oh he's done everything right he's gone over the keeper but unfortunately he's gone over the bar as well dan axel zagadou well it's a fine looking dortmund attack but the question is what can they do from this position Kimi and now Chan element of risk there but he's won the ball smuggled away Emery Chan now Royce oh he's given it penalty and an opportunity now for them to jump in front well, that could be his final rebuke, I think, and the referee's making that absolutely clear. Well, I like that, Derek. Good referee. Nice and strong. Told the player exactly what he was thinking. And the penalty is converted. I don't think anyone really questioned him. Well, as we see it again, I can tell you his nerves will have been jangling, but he kept his nerve. Really good penalty. A chance to revisit the goal. Back underway. Borussia Dortmund with the advantage. The ball with Martinez. And he was in the right place to intercept. Dortmund have been awarded the free kick by the referee. And that short pass, this could be interesting. Azar. Shot attempted. Now oh, that's fine goalkeeping. Real concentration. And he's fired over the corner, punched away. That's how to rob them of possession. Well, can these Inter players respond to this amazing energy from the fans? Electric in here right now, urging their team forward to try and get back into this. He has been deemed to be offside, not by Muchley. Brilliant, brilliant officiating, that is. Look at that, spot on. Substitution it is for Dortmund. Brandt with it. And very deftly cut out. Well, the Inter Milan crowd pushing their players towards an equaliser, surely. Harrison's pass needed to be a little bit better. It's a case of just five minutes left. Borussia Dortmund have given it away. I must say, no shortage of space. It needs an accurate cross. Denied by the bar. Back in play here. What late excitement. And the match is level. Even Steven won a piece on this match. Andreva here we've been waiting to find out now we know a minimum of three added minutes here and it was read so beautifully by Hummels and Dortmund committed to getting forward can they grab a late winner cutting in what can he do from this position he'll be breathing a sigh of relief so this group stage confrontation is over and in the end, the sides couldn't be separated. Can't miss, surely! Very high degree of difficulty there, Samir Handanovic. Marco Royce! He was certain.
Burnley in. The chance was there, but credit has to go to the defender league. Well, part of the defender. And the penalty is converted. I don't think anyone really questioned him. Hazard. Shot attempted. That's fine goalkeeping. Real concentration. It needs an accurate cross. Denied by the bar. Back in play here. What late. Well, they know what they must do this evening. Destiny in their hands. Three points to guarantee a place in the knockout stages. And it's live here on EA TV. Well, this is a region that really loves its football. The industrial west of Germany. We're at the home of Borussia Dortmund. My name is Derek Ray. With me in the commentary position is the former Arsenal and England defender, Lee Dixon. And we've got Champions League action on the menu. Will Borussia Dortmund confirm their presence in the knockout stages? It is Borussia Dortmund up against Inter. Yeah, thanks, Derek. The host can claim their spot in the knockout stages tonight. Affect the things that are in your control. Focus on the job in hand. That's what they need to concentrate on. We're surely in for a good game. And slipped through beautifully. Will he finish? Well, they can say a big thank you to the goalkeeper. That was inspirational. Well, that's as good as a goal at the other end. Brilliant save from the keeper. Delivered by oh, Punch Happy, the keeper. Sancho. Emre Can. And Witzel with it. And this is Royce. Witzel. Emre Can. Couldn't keep the shot down. Yeah, the keeper's beaten, but so is the goal. Well, looking at the table, it might be a night of celebration for the home fans because they know their heroes could clinch a place in the knockout stages this evening with games to spare, Lee. Yeah, that's right. You want your fate in your own hands. Three points should see them through, whatever happens in the other games. Sancho. changes hands the interception there it's very difficult to take your eyes off Marco Royce when he's in form and in with a real chance well he made that interception look routine in truth it wasn't racing forward trying to catch them out look as though they might make real progress on the counter attack not so Asamoa well, visionary passing. Martinez. And the cross comes to nothing. Emily Chan. And as they continue to pass it around, the attack goes through Lukaku. Cutting the ball back. Well, he just couldn't make it happen. Witzel, Emre Can, good looking ball, there could be a chance now, Marco Reis, oh that was a terrific stop in a one versus one situation, well high fives all round for the goalkeeper, absolutely fantastic. Fired over by Guerrero. Regain possession. Not much time to make up his mind. On 
untidy in possession. Emre Can. Royce. Marco Royce! Well, that attempt was never going to trouble the scoreboard operator. Well, you taught as a youngster technique, technique, technique. He didn't have any there. Now with Hakimi, Emre Can, Sancho now, Royce, Sancho, opportunity to take the lead, the opening goal, due reward for their efforts. Well, they've made the pressure count, they really deserve this lead. Well, look at this again, it's all about being in the right place at the right time, and from that sort of range, there's only one winner. The goal again, albeit from a different angle. So the game back in business. It's Borussia Dortmund with the lead here. Promising sequence. And space for the cross. Insufficient guile on the crossing front, you've got to say. Sancho now. The ball with Marco Royce. No getting past Godin. Well, they've jumped in front, Lee. That's the most important thing. Your assessment so far? Well, Dortmund will be happy if it stays like this, for sure. Still some work to do in the second half, though. With the clock ticking down before their half-time cup of tea, the players need to stay concentrated. And given away by Dortmund. Given away by Inter. Emre Can, happy just to retain the ball in their own half and draw out the opposition. The referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. The ball with Marco Reus. And they look as though they want to make this move count. It's got to be! Can they put it away? Much more straightforward for the keeper this time, but previously he had work to do. Well, well you always want to stamp your ticket for the knockout stages as early as possible in the group phase. And it... Varela has it. Royce. Jaden Sancho. And it's a fine looking Dortmund attack, but the question is what can they do from this position? man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point Lee well Derek you're right he has played well and goals win games he's been a joy to watch in this form must score and on the basis of that effort quite clearly he's not wearing his shooting boots at the moment well it was a strong effort he used his laces but uh, screwed it well off target point you in the direction of Champions League group stage action coming up live here on EA TV it's Borussia Dortmund against Barcelona yeah break from league action for players always a good atmosphere when it's knockout football should be a great match that Emre Can now Emre Can oh it's off the 
post. And very deftly cut out. And that's an important intervention. Well, Derek, you, me, and everybody in this ground thought that one was in. It was so close. Woodwork saved him. Opportunity it is. Oh, it was a crucial challenge. Brozovic. An abundance of space. Asamoah. Now Brozovic. Eriksson, Lukaku. It did look as though it was rather a fruitful avenue, but nothing doing. Guerrero. Emre Can now. Jaden Sancho. Now can they counter clinically? Oh, and a perfect ball now. How about this? And the counter attack came to nothing. Well, that is how to run at defenders. Read it magnificently and intercepted. And Witzel with it. This might have potential. And that is how to thwart them. gone out of play for the Dortmund throw-in well they've been getting the substitute ready and now they will make the personnel change Emre Chan has given it away Martinez and in with a real chance Eriksson and he's gone and scored to level it again well here we'll see it again there's two parts to every game with and without the ball they've soaked up a lot of pressure today but they've got their reward so a level contest 1-1 15 minutes remaining Zagadou Guerrero Axel Witzel gliding through the gears Obviously, it's a tapping, Derek, but it's the patience in the box I like. A predator's instinct, just waiting for the ball to come to him. A concession of a goal by Inter, and now the onus is on them to get forward. Asamoa. Only ten minutes remaining here. Royce. Well, if they carry on doing their jobs, they should be fine in this game. The fans are certainly doing their bit. Surely! No worries for the keeper. Ericsson. Messino on the ball. Running towards goal. Mats Hummels wins the challenge. And given away. He's found a pocket of space. Not fantastic defending. Let's see if it helps the opposition. The ball with Marco Reus. They look as though they want to make this move count. The electronic board has been held aloft. Two additional minutes here. It's with Milan Skriniar. Alexis Sanchez. Ericsson. Enter. And he's made headway. Lukaku! Oh, that was a terrific stop and a one so that is going to be that the final whistle here and they're in a pretty comfortable position because not only have they put will he finish well they can 
say a big thank you to the goalkeeper. That was inspirational. Well, that's as good as... Close with that one, Lee, but just couldn't keep the shot down. Yeah, the keeper's beaten, but so is the goal. Looking ball, there could be a chance now. Marco Weiss! Oh, that was a terrific stop in a one versus one situation. Well, high fives all round for the goalkeeper. Emre Jam. Marco Weiss! Well, that attempt was never going to trouble the scoreboard operator. Weiss. Sancho. Opportunity to take the lead. Well, they've made the pressure count. They really deserve this lead. Must score! And on the basis of that effort, quite clearly, he's not wearing his shooting boots at the moment. Well, it was a strong effort. He used his laces. But... Martinez. And in with a real chance. Ericsson! And he's got and scored to level it again. Well, here we'll see it again. There's two points. Riding through the gears. And he scored not once, but twice. They simply cannot stop.